And her, her husband she was knows. crying too. He just tears was just flowing, you know. And he, he said she hasn't stood in 20 years. Hasn't stood up for 20 years. And she was still like, like she's looking straight at God. She, she just stood there, she stood up there. She's seen pastors in churches that came against me, and they were wrong, and I was right. And the, the guy knew the Bible better than anybody in the world. He could quote one verse after another, and he got up there, and I walked back into the church and looked at him, and he couldn't speak. Real? She's humbling. She's humbling. Yeah? I knew I witnessed to all that he did. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. All she did for the first two years was go to Who are you? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. I just Repeat the one that said you, 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 the guy was almost dead in the church? Yes, well, it was a little church by the, we were living in an RV park by the lake. Uh huh. And we had just gotten into ministry, we got the equipment that we got, like I told you. She, yeah. I told her she was going to be giving it and we were playing. And the little church was there, we never even go to a church. One night I was going by and got told me to go in there. I stopped, she said, what are you doing? I said, well, I got to go in there. I ran in there, she came in, and this guy was sitting there, and he was gasping for breath. It was an older man, and he had oxygen bottles. Uh huh. And they were trying to revive him, and I just put my hand on him, and I started praying, because that's what God told me to do. And pretty soon, he, just, he got up, he walked out there, and he started singing. Singing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because when, when, when he laid his hand, he laid his hands on the friend, and said, God told me to do this. And so then we just went on in the time. <laughs> And then pretty soon he came in and sat right behind us. The and same guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, who are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you, didn't you find it weird? Did you find him weird? Yeah, when I met him, I said, you're mine. <laughs> I said, you're mine. Yeah. You know, I'm from a church. I have a church from a church back on you. Yeah. So, um, I didn't find it weird because I can always feel the spirit. Okay. You know, okay. But I had no idea of things. I had never seen things done like that. In front of your eyes. Right. right. The lady stood up. She was playing the piano and I was playing the guard singing. A lot of times I'm singing, I'm just singing to God. I ain't singing to no God. Uh huh. I'm singing to God. And she'd be on the plane and I was my eyes and she's like, <laughs> I already knew the lady was standing there. I don't even need to I just knew that. I just need to know. Yeah. I could see her standing up with my thoughts. And she was just, she had not had a seen something like that. Now, and she said, didn't it? Why don't you surprise her? I said, I saw it when I had my thoughts. When he plays, he's just so into the spirit, you don't even recognize him, really. Mr. and Mrs. Spirit decided to sell everything they had pack up all their belongings and they go to Belize City to be with us to do this awesome work of helping the need the sick and the suffering with prayers and their special healing ministry. Several people were healed by the laying of hands and prayers and so we've now teamed up here in Belize as many people would be blessed. Their ministry. The ministry is called Follow the Spirit Ministry.